So what is it that you're believing God for? I know sometimes we can get impatient. We can um, begin to question God and begin to think, God, have you really forgotten about me, Lord? I know that this is something that you promised to me three, four, five years ago, but I don't see the fruition of it. Lord, are you like, have you forgotten about me? What is going on? And so today I just want to share this affirmation with you and in hopes that you would declare it out of your own mouth to know that God has not forgotten about you. And what is that affirmation? That affirmation is, I am more than enough. We can a lot of times think, well, am I good enough? You know, um, does God love me enough? I mean, is it something that I've done in my past that, you know, God is holding over my head? But you are more than enough. You were created for such a time as this. And because you were created for such a time as this, God has something in store for you that you've never seen before. What is that thing? I have no clue. I don't know. And I'm not going to sit up here and act like I have all the answers because I don't. There are things that I'm believing God for and I'm waiting for God to reveal to me, even in my own life, that he's promised to me. But I know that he is with me. I know that his word never lies. And I know that sometimes it can get discouraging. It can be disheartening. But I want to encourage you today. Encourage you today to know that you are not forgotten. Share that affirmation with others and let them know that they are more than enough. Post it on your status. Um, just share it with somebody through a text message because in this thing, we win when we work together. And don't allow the enemy to make you feel like you're not enough. As we um, strive to become better wives and become better mothers and become better um, ministers and teachers, whatever your whatever it is that God has called you to do, God wants you to flourish in every every area of your life. He came to give you life and that more abundantly. And because He came to give you life and that more abundantly, that is something that you should make sure that you declare of your life when you wake up in the morning time. Declare. This is my day. This is my season. This is this is what God has created me for, and I'm going to walk wholeheartedly in it. I'm not going to be fearful. I'm not going to walk around with my head down. I'm not going to walk around ashamed. God created me for such a time as this, and because of it, I am going to live my life to the fullest, and I am going to do everything in my power to, to be a blessing to somebody today, to um, just, just encourage somebody else today. I pray that this was a blessing to you. I pray that it was a blessing to you. If this is your first time joining me, make sure that you subscribe. And so I want to know your thoughts. Let me know what type of affirmations that you declare over your life on a daily basis that really allows you to um, just get your day started in a good way. Even when sometimes, you know, we feel heavy, we feel burdened. Let me know what is that one thing that you declare into the atmosphere every day to say this is going to be a good day. What is it? What is that? I want to know. Leave it in the comments below and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.